Hello everybody and welcome to the Collection Channel. I'm your host, Ty Tiger. Today, we're diving through all the things I got in December. I know, I know, I know, already in 2024, 2023's over, blah, 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 blah. But I did want to dive in and kind of show you guys all the collectibles that I managed to get throughout December. There's quite a few things here. There are two of my Christmas presents involved in this as well. Um, thanks to my lovely fiance. Uh, so we have plushies, we've got games, we've got Funko Pops, we've got action figures, and we've got a retro item as well. So yeah, let's dive in. Absolutely, I'm looking forward to this video. Um, don't worry if I'm not focusing on one item for too long, because all these items you'll see again. I'll be doing singular item videos, I'll be doing more collection videos and things like that. And when it comes to haul videos like this one, there will be more on the channel. It all just depends on exactly what I get in each month. For example, the month of July isn't going to have much because I have two big birthdays in July, my mother's and my sister's, and things like this. So, let's dive in with the plushies first. There are three plushies, uh, all Pokemon related. Now, first things first, I had a Bulbasaur, a Charmander, and a Squirtle, but my Squirtle wasn't an, a, an official Squirtle plushie. It's a tinged turquoise, not blue. The tail's flat, not curvy. And I gave it to my son. My son is five in March. He's Pokemon obsessed, like Pokemon mad. And uh, yeah, it was his first Pokemon plushie, was that Squirtle. So I got myself an actual Squirtle. It's like the same size as my head. It's so cute. I absolutely love this thing. It's an original color. Of course, you can see it's got a tail. And look how adorable he is. He's just so cute. I love my little Squirtle. I'm trying to get all of the Pokemon starter Pokemon plushies. So we're talking all three uh, types and all three of their line of all nine generations. Don't ask me to do that math because I don't know. <laughs> Like nine, 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 1880 something Pokemon. Um, I have a few, not that many, but that's my goal. So that's Squirtle done. I'm going to leave Squirtle over here. Um, next up, uh, this was, I found this one. I'm really glad I did. It's my favorite Fire Star Pokemon of all time. I got a Cyndaquil. It's a sleeping Cyndaquil. Ah, look how cute he is. Gorgeous color. Absolutely awesome. Now, this last plushie um, is actually a last minute buy in 2024, 2024, 2023 is just literally a day before New Year's Eve. Um, I got it. My son actually had this for a Christmas present. We found it again. My son was like, why don't you get one then? I was like, okay, cool. And that is a sleeping Rowlet. My son was really happy when he got his for Christmas uh, as well. It's really cool. I love, I love, I love, I love this. Uh, this uh, Pokemon. Um, this plushie is absolutely adorable. And it's really cool that it's asleep. My son loves the fact that it's asleep because in the anime, Ash's Rowlet is always sleeping. So, and it, it like, Cyndaquil and Rowlet are pretty much the same size. So there isn't much, if I go like foot to foot, there isn't much of a difference. But then if I get Squirtle and I get Rowlet, there is quite a size comparison. Yeah. So that's the three plushies I got. Um, I'm going to dive into the video games. There are only two this month. The first one was a case. I found it. I saw it on the shelf. I was like, I'm going to get you. I played this game on Nintendo Wii. I actually adored it on Nintendo Wii. I hammered the hell out of it. They remastered it for Nintendo Switch. And I had to get it. And that is Sonic Colors Ultimate. This game is a lot of fun. Um, one of my favorite Sonic games. I love the gimmick in this game. The alien things are really cool. Uh, and I'm actually been playing this on my gaming channel at some point as well, so make sure you check that out. And it says, experience non-stop action at sonic speed, use powerful wisps, sorry wisps, they're called wisps, um, to uh, harness unique abilities and better than ever with stunning visuals. So that is the back there. Yeah, it, it, it's, a fun, it's a fun game, I can't wait to dive back into that. Now this, uh, this last game, honestly I was really late to buying this, it's a brand new game for 2023, it came out in September, but I hadn't got a PS5 by that point, I got my PS5 the last week of September, it was like the week that transitioned September to October, that's where I got my PS5 from my father, and so I didn't get this game until December because I was hammering Spider-Man content 
for my gaming channel, and that is Mortal Kombat 1. I managed to find the steel case um, from CEX. This is absolutely stunning. I love the look of this. You can see the residue of the stickers. I do need to give it a good clean, but this is absolutely gorgeous. There's nothing on the back, and on the side it does say Mortal Kombat 1, ever so small. I'm going to zoom in up for you guys for a little bit. Have I got it upside down? I have it upside down, I apologise. Uh, it does say Mortal Kombat 1 there. I don't know if it'll focus for you. But yeah, this is absolutely drop dead gorgeous. I love this case. It's a steel book. I'm very glad I got this. I do like the steel books quite a lot. Uh, there's nothing on the inside, literally. Um, but yeah, it's quite hefty as well. It's got a bit of weight to it. Um, but this is just absolutely gorgeous. So I'm glad I managed to get that. So let's dive into the retro item I found. Again, this is a last minute buy. Um, this was just before Christmas I got this. And uh, he was only a couple quid. And the, there's a shop in Hereford. I live in Wales. I'm from England. I live in Wales. And there's a town called Hereford, um, which is technically in England. And there's a little shop there, a little geeky shop. And I love going in there. They're a bit, a bit expensive, but they do sometimes have retro Power Ranger figures, and that's exactly what I got, and the guy was really uh, chuffed the fact that I managed to name the Power Ranger series, because this is actually older than me, um, so this is the Zeo Ranger Red um, Zord, uh, I believe it's their second Zord, um, and as you can see, it's old, you can see the age in it, it has this mechanism on the back here, which is meant to like make it punch, but it no longer does the punching make it only wobbles its arms um but yeah it's nice to have in the collection it's really cool um you can see like i'm trying to make it focus on the star but yeah it belonged to the red zero ranger which obviously tommy um rp jason davis frank but yeah that's that's our retro figure it looks really cool i do really enjoy this, uh, it sits by my monitor next to the other retro figure I have as well. So, whenever I um, go back to that shop, I'm actually going to ask them if I can record there. Show off some content and like, you know, show off the shop and uh, maybe see if I can buy something else. Um, okay, so we're going to dive into some Funko Pops now. I actually do have quite a few Funko Pops last month. Um, so, we're going to dive into some Christmas themed ones, as obviously Christmas is over. The very first one, I guess this doesn't count as a Christmas themed one. It is Christmas themed, but you don't need to get it at Christmas time. And that is Santa Jack. This is absolutely awesome. My second um, Nightmare Before Christmas one, I have Oogie Boogie. Um, and I adore Santa Jack. He looks really cool. Again, I will be showcasing all the Funko Pops in individual videos and things like this, so don't worry about it. You guys get to see more of it all, but that's the box. That's what he actually looks like. It's really cool. He's covered in lights as well, which is awesome. I adore this Funko. So, I got two Christmas-themed ones again, and I found them in the shop whilst looking for the last few pick-me-ups for Christmas dinner shopping. Um, some of the shops, as the Morrisons and stuff, have, like, massive toy aisles, and so I was sneaky enough, and I, my missus uh, let me buy a few things. First off is Gingerbread Man Batman. I got two Gingerbread Man uh, DC figures. There were no Marvel ones, annoyingly, but they did have two of the... Um, gingerbread ones, and honestly, I'm not so fussed on Wonder Woman or Aquaman. Not on the characters, just on the looks of the Funkos. They don't look that great. I do want to get Superman, though. So, yeah, this is the Batman one. He looks really cool. That's what he looks like. He's just stood there. There's the others. I'll see if that will let me focus. That's that's a really cool uh, Funko. Honestly, really glad this is in my collection. So next one is another Gingerbread Man, and um, this is the first one I bought. Batman was actually the second, and I'm really glad I managed to get this one, because this is effing adorable. I got the Flash. <laughs> Just check out the flipping Flash, man. He's in mid front. He does have lightning coming off of him. He looks really, really cool. I'm really glad I managed to get this. Uh, same collection on the back here. And again, I only managed to get the DC ones. If there was Marvel ones there, I would have fucking got it, yo. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? Um, so the next two are actually part of a collection of four, and I'm really hoping I can find them before. I do keep going back to B&M to see if I can get them. This is B&M was the shop that I got these two next ones, and they're the Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles um, art series. I don't have any art series um, as of yet. These are my first two, and honestly, I really effing adore them. And the first one I got is Leonardo. 
I don't know if um, it's it's covered in plastic at the minute. I've kept it in the plastic just for a second, um, but it comes in a plastic case as well. So I've got another plastic case with uh, my Pop Funko, which is awesome. But I'm going to show you that, so you guys can kind of see. And you, there's Leonardo artwork all over the thing. I can't wait to get this out on a video for you guys. There's actually, I didn't actually. Um, Fine, Donatello, Raphael, Splinter. I didn't realize Splinter was in the team. Um, but yeah, I, I'm really, really glad that I got this. It's absolutely the, uh, the box for it too is phenomenal. I love the color compared to this one, like the color difference. I love the color to these. So yeah, this is the uh, Leonardo. And my, the, the camera isn't really focusing on the inside. So I guess I'll just show you that. Um, I will, if I can get all four of them, I'll definitely do a video on all four, but I definitely plan on doing videos on all my Funko Pops. So the next one of the team, and I love this one because it's holding a pizza box, uh, which is in the art style as well, and that's Michelangelo, my favourite Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle. My cat is actually named after Michelangelo, who, funny enough, has just walked in. Hi, Mikey. Hi, baby, you okay? Do you want to come say hi? Come say hi? Come say hi. Say hi, see, look, this is you. Yeah, this is Mikey. This is my cat. He's uh, named after my clan, Johnny Bad Boy. And you? Yeah. He's uh, currently missing my son. My son's been gone for New Year's, and uh, his brother Litton, named after a Pokemon, um, adore my son, so I kind of miss him, my son, a bit. Um, yeah, you sit there and watch Bad, that's fine. <laughs> so yeah, this is Michelangelo, the Pop Funko, um, that's what he looks like. I just loved his quirky little face. The fact that, like, you know, it, it, it's, he's, got, he's holding a fucking pizza box, man. That's cool. Again, I adore these two, uh, boxes. They're just absolutely awesome. I think they're stunning. Um, and I'm really looking forward to seeing more of the art style boxes. I haven't seen these before. So I'm looking forward to that. And then the last Pop Funkos that I got, technically there's two left, two boxes, but one of them is a four pack. And I saw these and I was like, I'm not interested in the, uh, what they actually called, um, uh, I think they're called, like, I think they're the light, the night light ones, I don't actually know, Mikey, leave it alone, I'm not really interested in these, because they changed the colours of them, but when I saw these, I was like, oh my god, I've got to, and it's the Black Pound for Wakanda Forever set, there's King Namor, Shuri, a Koye in her Midnight Angel suit, and a Nika in her Midnight Angel suit. And these are absolutely effing awesome. I'm not really a fond uh, of this, uh, like the art style color difference, and nightlight looking things, but these are effing awesome. These are awesome. I'll just pan the box so you guys can see what they actually look like. They are so sexy, I'm not gonna lie, these are sexy. Um, I just absolutely adore the colours of Namor and the colours of Anika. Um, they're just like, oh my god, I can't wait to get these out of the box to show you guys in a different video. And we can definitely have a look at that. And then the last one could pop up was actually a Christmas present off my fiance. She has a, um, an, a, an agenda, she has a mission, she has a goal to get me all the Pokemon Funko Pops. It's actually because of her that I actually have more Funko Pops. When it comes to Pokemon and the plushies and stuff, me and my son are both obsessed with it. I've got my son watching Pokemon and things, so it's really cool. And this is so effing cute. Um, like, this is the cutest thing I've ever seen on a Funko, and it's Psyduck. Look how cute this is! It's so adorable! Like, oh my god, have you ever seen anything so cute before? Um, it is just so effing cute, I'm sorry, but it is. It's so goddamn adorable. And yeah, so that's Psyduck. Um, which is very cool. There's um, there's actually nothing on the back other than Psyduck, which is cool. Um, but yeah, that Psyduck, it's it is so cute. I don't care what anyone says. Uh, this is the cutest thing ever. Like, oh my god. I thought Psyduck was awesome at first, but this just makes him a little, little derpy and stuff. He looks so adorable. Again, I can't wait to get out of the box so I can show you guys at a later date. Okay, so we've got three figures to show you. Um... We'll start off with DC. I do have a couple of McFarlane toys, and when it comes to McFarlane, I'm a big fan. I'm a very big fan of McFarlane. And this, I found this in uh, B&M again when I saw it. I was like, do you know what? I'll get it. It looks kind of too. 
uh, looks kind of cool. And it's part of the Dark Knight's Metal series. It's Batman on Earth, minus 22 and infected. So this is him. It's very green. It's Batman. He's got like a Joker smile on. I'm, I'm unaware of all of the, um, uh, minus universes. I know like the majority of the main ones. Um, but I saw this. I was like, damn, son, I gotta get me some of that. Like, he looks really cool. That's at the back of the box as well. It's really menacing. Again, I plan on showcasing all of these in a different, like, video to, you know, individually. So you guys can actually get to see what they look like. And I'll get them out of the boxes and stuff and things. But yeah, that's, that's what it's called. If that's helpful. Um, but yeah, that is just absolutely sexy. So, the last two things on today's video are actually Christmas presents. <clears throat> The last one, the only reason why the last one's the last one is how big it is. It is fucking huge. So this next one, uh, I thought it was very sweet that my fiance got me this, and it's now started me really wanting to collect them. I do have one of these already. I won it um, in a raffle of the Zero to Hero Network, the Zero to Hero podcast. You can find that wherever you listen to your podcast. And this uh, is a Power Rangers Lightning Collection in Space Pink Ranger, and it's really cool. I really like her. Um, I, I'm a huge fan of Power Rangers, massive fan of Power Rangers, and, um, my missus was like, right, okay, don't get any Pink Ranger, and I was like, okay, why? And then she said that it was this one, or the other option was Dino Charge, but she went with this one, um, and I was like, yeah, that's cool, I'm, I'm fine with either, but yeah, it's really cool, again, I can't wait to get out of the box and showcase, um, the, the figures, uh, I've got, uh, Dino Fury Red Ranger, uh, that's the other one I have, so that's, that's kind of cool. But yeah, I'm really glad that I managed to get another Power Rangers Lightning Collection, and I'm really tempted to start collecting more of them. I'm really, really tempted to start collecting more. And so the last but not least, this is my Christmas present off my brother from another mother, um, Mr. Hotshot118. The very first video I ever uploaded on this channel was actually with him. Um, we showcased the... Um, Spider-Man 2 Insomniac Collections Edition statue with Venom, Miles, and Peter. And then I also did the video the other day, a little while ago, where I showcased the Christmas I got him, which was the PlayStation 5 plate. That was for him. His name's James. If you want to see me and James shoot shit, beat the crap into each other on online games like Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 and Mortal Kombat 1, check out the Thai Tiger Online channel. Thai Tiger Online is where I do my multiplayer gameplay, so you can see me and him game a lot there. So he got me something called a, di a diorama. Um, he's got a couple, he's shown me them, they are very cool. These things are expensive, all fucking hell. Uh, this thing is massive. Um, it like literally overtowers everything that I've shown you. Um, so I'm going to do my best to showcase you guys, and uh, yeah, I'm going to have to stand up for this, but um, this thing is so damn sick. This is Doctor Strange. Like, just look at this fucking thing. Like, my camera's going to do no justice, but this thing is awesome. It's huge, as you can tell. I'll turn it around. Uh, that's what it is. So it's Doctor Strange. Um, and it's got like, two, like a couple demon thing trying to like get to him. His cape's in mid levitation. It's just so sexy. This thing is so big. It's so cool. And I absolutely love this thing. I really need to find a place to, uh, put it. I really do. But, uh, yeah, that's, that's the last thing I have to show you. And it's so cool. Again, I will get out of this box eventually and, uh, I'll showcase it in. A different video but that's it guys for this video i'm afraid um it's been a lot of fun showcasing uh what i've collected over the course of december again there may not be a haul every single month but when there is a haul i will uh, definitely uh you know update you guys and things make sure you check out the rest of the channel there isn't much so far but i do plan on doing some shorts i plan on doing some videos showcasing all the things that i've got uh, I've got all sorts of stuff from plushies to Funko Pops to action videos to video games to Blu-rays to collectibles to all sorts of things. There'll be videos of all sorts on this channel. Thank you everyone for watching and of course don't forget to like the video, subscribe if you're new and hit the notification bell so you guys don't miss another video. We're with passion everybody and of course, I uh, keep saying of course for some weird reason. Happy New Year everyone, I'm glad that New Year went really well for you guys if it did. And of course, ah oh, stop saying of course, god damn it Ty, stop saying of course.
Anyway, <laughs> anyway, thank you guys for tuning in, and I shall see you guys in the next one. Bye.